Hello, um, I'm having some video deja vu today because I want to talk about Static Shock, uh, the new 52 variant anyway. And I'm sure I've recorded this video before, but I did have a few fail when I, did, when I started early on with this. I had a few failures. So, if you've seen me say all this before, I'm very sorry, but I, I've been through it. I'm fairly sure it didn't get uploaded, but I'm just, with all these videos, I'm losing track now with the feeder stuff. But uh, yeah, Static Shock, uh, this is the new 52 run of uh, Static Shock. Now, I'm not... I'm massively interested in Static Shock as a character. I picked this up because it was £3 uh, and it was mint condition when I bought it. I've read it a couple of times now actually, but uh, it's, uh, it was an absolutely mint condition when I bought it. So uh, I picked it up for 3 quid and I thought it's too cheap not to buy a new 52. From what I understand, this is all of Static Shock in the new 52. It was canned after this. Um, and I can't sound surprised to be honest. Um, the first thing I know is when thumbing through it, and this, I'm going to show you the first thing I ever saw in this book, right? first thing I ever saw in this book was this dude. There you go. Looks like the Joker, did he? Again. I don't know why. Um, I, read, like I, said, I read this twice now. Um, just the first time I read it, and I read the first, the first two, the first two issues or so in here. I really enjoyed it. There was some really solid stuff. There's a weird Joker guy in there that never really, you know, was a bit weird. But uh, yeah, the first two issues were really quality. And then I read the rest. And I'm going. This is bad. This is really bad. It's like they got tired or bored of the character halfway through. He's um, my criticism with it is he's got an ally named Hardware, which is fine. Apart from, I thought he was talking to a computer named Hardware on his wrist for the first three issues, so that wasn't really clear. And I didn't follow Static Shop before the New 52, but I feel like this wasn't really a reboot and more of a continuation of the, 50, of, of the old story because he's moved from Dakota to a city. I forget what city he's in. I want to say, oh, I want to say Chicago for some reason, but I might be wrong there. But uh, yeah, it's um. Artwork's acceptable, yeah, no problems with the artwork there. Uh, the writing itself, the dialogue and stuff is quite snappy, a little bit cliched, but they're trying to get across that this is like a teenage kid who's not very good at being a superhero, trying his best. The only problem with that, it was the plot I actually took problems with because, I have to say, I read it once and I was like, oh, you know, the first couple of issues was good, then it got really bad. And then the second time I read it, I went back and read it again because I was like, I was thinking about it, I was like, oh, it doesn't. There's a few plot holes. Like, maybe I read it wrong. So, and it's not. I mean, they, you know, comics nowadays are a lot shorter than they used to be. And you can read a book like this, you know, you know, with a waiting outside the hospital for someone or appointment or something. You know, I can just read a book like this in an hour or so. Um, and yeah, I went through it again. Probably not as fine. I, I tried to pick up on some details I missed and stuff. And um, this, uh, this is a. Uh, this is this is a bad book. I mean, uh, there's there's some really nice points in it, and the dialogue, and I like the family, the family with the clone sister and stuff, which again isn't explained very well. Because I'm not going to say it to you because I don't know myself. But uh, yeah, there's a few really nice moments in it, and and I really like like the supporting characters, the family that he meets, the family that he meets, that he's part of in this, um, are really cool. And he's got a couple of friends, and there's some superb ideas in it. Um, but unfortunately, as a read, it was just I mean, I don't like the artwork. You like the artwork. There's nothing. It's it was close to being awesome. I mean, I mean, I think if you had to put a different writer on this project, um, the foundation of the character and the basic setup is all fine. And science superheroes, that's cool. I, mean, I like the Flash. And he's a science superhero, that's, you know. So I've got no problem with that. Um, yeah, I I liked it. Um, yeah, I, I did. But the plot is what Larry down. I mean, everything about it up until that point I liked, but the plot was just all over the place. And I mean, it tells you something. Went the back. I mean, I assume this is look. Oh, there's a diagram. They're, they're actually they have to they use a diagram to explain the reality bending technology that's used in part of the plot. Now, I didn't even pick up that there was gravity bending technology on the first read. So yeah, it's it's just I don't know. I wanted to like it. I really did, but um, it's unfortunately the plot points are just. I'm trying to find like random. This is some really cool moments in it. But uh, I like to try and you know no no no. I'll, I'll just uh, I'll just give up after this. There you go. Look at that. That's cool. Yeah. So yeah, there was stuff I really liked in it, but when it came down to it, I was just, it wasn't as good as it could have been, and I can see why it got canned, but I'm glad I picked it up, because it's worth a read, but I wouldn't recommend you read it, it's, it's got some good things going for it, but I can't recommend it really, so thanks for watching, I'll see you tomorrow.